And joining us now to talk about this on our two-on-two -two panel this week on my team, nationally syndicated radio talk show host, we call him the great one. Mark Levin is with us. And our well-meaning, however misguided liberal friends, National Public Radio's and Fox News contributor Juan Williams. And from YoungVoterPack.org, Jane Fleming is with us. Uh, welcome all of you. Juan, let me, you. let me start with you tonight. Um, sure. Look, Nancy Pelosi didn't have the votes. She didn't have the votes on the merits. And so basically what she does here, she uses hard-earned taxpayer dollars, a lot of them, to go out there and basically buy the votes of, of, of congressmen here. Is, is that ethical, considering the magnitude of the vote? We're talking about our troops in Iraq and funding for their equipment? I think it is. I mean, this isn't the first time you've heard about earmarks, Sean. I think that's a, that was a Republican tactic that got a lot of people upset and in trouble uh, through the last few sessions of a Republican-dominated Congress. But let's talk about what's in it. Money for Walter Reed, money for armor for our soldiers, money to help people who have brain injuries from their battles in I Iraq. Sean, this morning, I think you'd support that, wouldn't no, you? No, I would support that, but that's not ex specifically what we're referring to here. We're, we're talking about, you know, spinach growers and shrimp uh, farmers and et cetera, et cetera, down the line. She didn't have the votes, Mark Levin. She didn't have them, so she went out there and used our hard-earned hard -earned dollars to win this, this well. battle. This tells us how the liberals want to fight terrorism. Millions for spinach, nothing for the troops. Everything that Juan just mentioned are things the president's proposing, not Nancy Pelosi. I will tell you this. Our liberal friends don't like the Constitution, so they ignore it or they don't understand it. The Congress doesn't get to micromanage battlefield activities. Just as the president vetoes a bill or signs it, he can't do line item vetoes. He spends bills that he signs, he can't impound funds. Congress either cuts off funds or they pass funds. Right. They don't get to micromanage the, the uh, battlefield, and thank right. God for that. Hey, Jane, the Fle hang on, Jane. The Wait, okay. let's, let's stay on the constitutional point here. And Mark's right. If liberal Democrats want to defund the war, nobody's arguing about their ability their constitutional right to do so. But they're not being honest about it. They're coming up with these backhanded, slow bleed methods of trying to defund the war without being honest with the American people and telling them exactly and specifically what it is they want to do. So they have to nope. buy votes to get there. Nobody's trying to defund the war, and nobody bought votes. Let's be very clear. This was an emergency spending bill. This was not just an Iraq spending bill. So, of course, other emergencies were put in there. Well, things why did for they, farmers, why did they things put it for in ranchers. This bill? Why didn't they put it in another funding bill? The, the Republicans did the same thing when they had yeah, well, power, they when the wrong. emergency they spending bill came in as well. And this is a defense appropriation no, bill. No, this it's is not an emergency spending bill. bill. This is an emergency spending bill, number one. Two, well, so on your report about the Constitution, yeah. Senator Chuck Hagel, who's a Republican, said this morning that the Bush... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he is. Well, the Bush, Bush needs to be reminded that we are a three-branch co-equal government. Excuse me. We don't need to be reminded anything from Chuck Hagel. He's not a constitutional expert. He's a sellout on this war. Shame on him. I I'm telling like, you what the Constitution the requires. Jane, do you think the president can fi sign line item vetoes today? Listen, I know that Why Bush can, can veto this Do you think the bill? president can impound funds today? Of course not. The reason is this. It's all or nothing. It's not just Congress that gets to micromanage. If the president can then micromanage, right. then where are we? Uh, we? We got another issue here, too, Juan Williams, and that is what are the consequences in just putting a date certain for pullout here, whether or not the Iraqis are ready or not? That, what does that guarantee? If the troops, if a, the Iraqi military force, the Iraqi police force isn't ready, what does that mean for Iraq? It means that it'll be an opening for al-Qaeda, an opening for Iran, the oil resources and the finances will be there for them. Why would you set a date certain to tell the enemy, just wait it out to this date, and then you'll be able to have access to, uh, to Iraq? Why would you do that? Sean, this is the opposite of cut and run. This is cut and think. Let's think about what we're doing. Let's say, you know what, to the Iraqi people, we've got American young men and women, now more than 3,200 dead over there, and we have many more injured, and here's what you have to do to defend your own country. It's not to say that we are leaving. It's to say that we would end combat operations and possibly even, okay. so, you know, surround that, the border and, and, if we're and not keep ready, the terrorists that, that out. That would guarantee a defeat, though, Juan. That would a mean defeat. that al-Qaeda and Iran get a safe haven in Iraq if, if no, they're not Sean, ready to Sean, take over their security. Sean, you know what, sometimes I think think you just do this for, sh for show. You're a There's smart no show guy, here, and, but... and you realize that if we stay there and all we're doing is, ha is being in the cro in the middle of a crossfire in sectarian, a if civil we don't war, win the war, which is the what the Pentagon calls Juan, it, it's if... not a matter of losing, me. it's a if matter of winning the war. The consequences Juan? will be dire. There'll be a humanitarian disaster, Mark Levin, the world. Juan, the overwhelming majority of troops on the field who are putting their lives on the line 
Don't agree with you. That's don't not agree true. With, excuse that me. Is excuse me. Not true. Don't agree with what the Dem well that's why you guys don't like them when they vote. Uh, don't agree no, with what the, the polls. Uh, excuse me. Jane don't is agree about with polls. what this house is doing and that's why even the Democrats don't agree. You had to spread around 25 billion dollars in our hard-earned money for all kinds of crap that had nothing it's to do not with the crap. war. So do you think farmers and ranchers who have lost no crops and that's exactly cattle, right. Do you think that that's I'm crap? I'm sick of it. That's is you know crap. What? You know what? Right. Well, maybe you should go on a ranch. We got Sean and Mark. We got to take a break. Hang on right there.